Wow, these cues fire very quickly. We are in another M19 Magic the Gathering internet queue on the uh, we're on the Yu-Gi-Oh server, and uh, we're gonna be playing some Pokemon today. Mister Ten Dollar Bill, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm gonna take Gin of Wishes because four four flyers are no joke. So I'm gonna put them right here. And uh, I think blue is also one of the stronger colors in this format. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't care. I would have taken the Snorlax, but uh, I think Snorlax are probably table. Is this a forgive Howie stream? They have not responded to me yet, so I'm actually wondering how long I should be waiting and what, like, if I should just send another email. I didn't call the store. I also don't know if those those if those emails go directly to the store or if they go to like some kind of like corporate higher up. Volcanic Dragon is pretty good. Oh wow. Gin of Wishes and a Volcanic Dragon, and I like blue red a lot. That's pretty cool. Frank, sorry for blowing up your inbox to see my email last I did. I did I did see your email last night. Um, I'll get back to you tonight. Send them a don't you know who I am email. Don't you know you sponsor me? Yeah, I'm just going to take this Volcanic Dragon because that card is pretty busted. I've been watching videos on YouTube since Omnidor Thragfire just made an account for Twitter. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Big <laughs> Fantastic. The memes are the best. I do it for the memes. Ah. <sighs> I bet if you make a YouTube video and tweet it, then I, yeah, but then I'd have to use, I don't want to use my powers for evil, is the thing. I'm just going to take this Avon Wind Mage, and now we're just going to go mono flyers here. Could you do a math article for mana bases for Crypto Command? Uh, I cannot, but you can probably ask Frank Karsten for that, because that is, uh, that is likely who you want to be asking for that kind of article. In fact, I will post that comment on his Facebook profile right now. Because we get this all the time, and it's pretty hilarious. So, I'm just going to post this image. And I'll put a laughing emoji here. And this pack is not very... Oh, actually, Volley Veteran's fine. All right, I'll take that guy. And uh, now we got the old... There we go. We, now Frank Karsten knows. He got your message, so... <laughs> or he will eventually. Ooh, Goblin Instigator or Essence Scatter? Or Sky Scanner. This pack is great. I want four cards from this pack. Hmm... Instigators, I mean, we have Volley Veteran, which is why I like Instigator. Turning turning this from a Zap into a Lightning Strike is pretty good. Uh, I definitely don't think Scry Scanner is best. Both of these, I think both of these are better for our deck. I, I definitely don't think Sky Scanner is the pick here. Like, it's just a 1-1 one, one flyer. I mean, I mean, I know Luis has a hard-on for it, but... I mean... Yeah, we're taking Instigator. I'd rather just have something that commits to the board. Um, I am going to take Cancel here. I don't like Onaki Ogre. Yeah, we're just going to take the Cancel here. Oh, Goblin Motivator. That's a that's a dude I'm happy to take. It can, we can give our we can give our Volcanic Dragon double double haste. Uh, I don't think Omen Speak is better. We have Vel Volley Veteran. Like, you guys know what this guy does, right? It deals damage to a creature who don't know goblins we control, so I want to maximize our number of goblins so that I can maximize the number of damage we're doing. Come on, guys. Get it together. I want to take, I'll take Totally Lost. I, I don't think it's Uncomfortable Chill. I also don't think it's Fire Elemental. You should be in jail. 
Oh, look, an essence scatter. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll take that over the motivator. Uh, I also don't think I don't think we're being a scholar deck. Double haste means you can attack when it's in your hand. There's a small part of me that's like, oh, I hope new new players are listening and they try to do that. They go to F and M and they're like, oh, I'll give this volcanic dragon in my hand haste and I'll attack you with it. And their opponent's just like, what are you talking about? And they're like, yeah, I saw on Frank's stream that he said you could do that. That's not part of magic. I mean, you know, double haste is pretty obscure, so. I like a Havoc Devils. I don't care about a Catalyst, though. I'll just take the Detention Tower. Actually, Detention Tower is pretty sweet tech in Limited against, uh, against the problematic Vine Mares. This is the biggest GP's only wasn't allowed to sideboard in the limited. What? <laughs> Get out of here, dude. Uh, no, sir. That is not how that works. Double death touch. Uh, that means that, uh... I don't know what double death touch means. It probably means that... The creature, the, the the creature's dead before it's dealt damage. You know what I mean? Been awesome to catch you live. Hope you're doing well, Jarman. Thank you so much. Hope you too. Hope you're doing well too, buddy. Long time no see. Really? This is who you're gonna send my way? Another Vevictus? I mean, we have to pass this, right? It's not worth anything. Yeah. It's literally the least expensive one. Palladium Morgus is worth more, Arcade's worth more, Chromium's worth more, and Nicobolus. It's literally the, the least expensive one. I feel like there's actually... Like, we're never going to splash for this, so... Whatever, I'll just take the Shock. I think Shock is probably better than Drake... Than Bird Wizard number two. Especially because we can probably get more bird wizards. I, uh, yep, there we go. Speak of the devil. Yeah, this pack's not great. I'll just take another bird wizard. Oh, that's a... Oh, my God. Volcanic Dragon and Wind Reader Sphinx. I mean, we got to take the Wind Reader Sphinx and just hope this guy tables, right? It's never tabling. Yeah, we're just taking the Wind Reader Sphinx. That card's really good. Uh, Fire Your Finish is awesome. I think it's... Uh, well, it's maybe not awesome. It's good. It's very good. It kills anything in the format. You get to six mana, you can kill anything. What if a creature has flying and reach? Does that count as double reach? Oh, snapper. Mirror image. Any copy of creature you control. Um, I think I'd rather just have snapper. And also, we can... Probably take all of the um, all of the wall of mists that we see, so we can just play flyers and walls walls of mist. Long time commander, comments are first time listener, medium fan. By the way, appreciate that. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's like you read my mind. Yeah, I, I tend to do that. Two dollar two haste bucks for that double haste life. Next level plays. Uh, but I was watching Frank's stream, and he said that you could attack with creatures that had double haste, uh, if they were in your hand. That guy's a dummy. Ooh, Wall of Mist or Shock number two? It's gotta be Shock number two, right? I mean, I like a Wall of Mist, but I don't, I'm not, I'm in no hurry to pick them over Shocks. Yeah, this deck looks pretty good.
This Gearsmith Guardian. Actually, I always forget that Gearsmith Guardian works with blue creatures, not with artifacts. Because it's just weird to have, like, it's basically a blue creature, so to speak, because it's it's turned on when you have blue creatures. So, like, in the green deck, it's only a 3-5. In the blue deck, it's a 5-5 five, five for 5. It's pretty good. What I do next will shock you. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Wow, this is a lot of black cards. I'll just take the red card because we can play it. Double Megamorph? Nobody has that. People shouldn't be having regular Megamorph, if you know what I mean. Wow, another fiery finish. Also another motivator. I like motivator over other six drop, especially because of Volley Vetner and also because I kind of want I kind of want our flyers to get in there as soon as they can. Our deck looks really good, but every time I say that, we end up going 1-2 or 2-1. I wonder where the 3-0s are in this format. 3-0s. Oh, 3-0s, where are you? I'm looking for you. Every one of these late cards is extremely playable. Hopefully this... What if this Wall of Mist comes back? That'd be fantastic. I'll put Tully Lost in the sideboard for now. That's like the only... Yeah, I'll put Cancel in the sideboard for now. These are the only two cards I'm almost... I'm only, I'm only sort of interested in. And I think they're still both totally playable. Need more interaction. Other than Shock, Shock, Fiery Finish, Essence Scatter, and totally lost and cancel that feels like a lot of interaction and volley veteran that kills things yeah that was an extremely late brute I was born from a master of the unseen I resent that morph comment yeah you guys be, gotta be a little more uh, a little more considerate of people's Master of the Unseen Birds. Even that's playable. Dragon's Horde. Well, that would have been nice with the other guy. Do I want our third Shock or our first Spark Tongue Dragon? Probably our first Spark Tongue Dragon, right? We only have one Dragon, so I don't think Dragon's Horde is really where we want to be. I like Bone Dash, I just wish it didn't cost 4 mana. That's a lot of mana to keep up. Yeah, I'm going to take Spark Tongue. Oh, a Gutter Snipe. Could you be good? I kind of like Surge Mare. Uh, Surge Mare is just a better Wall of Mist here. Yeah, I'm going to take Surge Mare. I don't think it's Gutter Snipe. I think we have enough card advantage between... Uh, well, you know, card filtering between Dijana Wishes, Anticipate, Wind Rider Sphinx. Wind Reader Sphinx. I'd rather just have the Surge Mare because Surge Mare is always very good for me. And uh, it's also an 05, so it kind of does the, the Wall of Mist job. I have not seen Psychic Corrosion in action, but I'm not going to really take one in the third pack. I would definitely consider taking one in pack one and building around it if able. Uh, we're going to take Disperse here. And I'll just put it in the deck because I think it's extremely playable.
those rules are cool? What rules? Apex of Power and Second Volley Veteran. Obviously not taking Apex of Power. I'm just going to take Volley Veteran here. Significantly better than this guy, I believe. Especially with the second Volley Veteran in our deck. And this is a Goblin too, which is pretty nice. That face in oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's gas. Oh, fantastic. What? That is a late volcanic dragon, dude. How many? This is like our third volcanic dragon. Yeah, definitely taking third volcanic dragon. I will also take the dragon sword if it tables, but I have my doubts that that's going to happen. Wow, this, this deck seems great. Again. Another Goblin Brute? Yeah, I'll take another Goblin Brute. Especially with double volley veteran. That seems right where I want to be. Um, I'm going to take Aether Tunnel because I think it's not terrible. Eh, none of these cards are super exciting. Probably just Smelt for the artifacts. We don't have any Smelt-like effects right now. Highland Lake did come back. Wow, that's pretty impressive. I will play that. Divination. God, I'd play that too. Another Brute. I'd probably take out Disperse. Oh, wow. I'll just take the Apex for coolness. If you play Apex of Power and you're like, let me get, uh... I'll get all red. And then you draw, like, four blue cards and three mountains. We need one cut. I'm not sure what it should be. then uh, I guess it could kind of anticipate I do like anticipate I could cut a motivator we have 17 creatures and an instigator I think that's actually fine I like that a lot actually 8-8 uh, eight, eight and a highland lake 8-8 eight, eight and a lake maybe sphinx what but all of our flyers draw us cards once we land a sphinx Double blue? Definitely not hard on the mana. I mean, I'll just play it on turn three if I have to. Like, I don't see this deck with nine, nine blue stars having a hard time getting two blue. Sphinx is any flyer, yes. If you, if you attack with any flyer, you draw a card for each flyer. If they attack with flyers, you draw cards. If they attack with two flyers, you draw two cards. If you attack with two flyers... Shh. 
Well, this is why we have Anticipate and Divination. I thought we were waiting for a match. I just didn't hit the play button because I'm really bad at that. Keep. When the punchline becomes apparent, wow, that's whew, that's brutal. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll hit some red lands at some point. We also have Surge Mare to cycle through some of these cards, so. You the real friendly bro. I can't tell if they're being see. I can't tell if it's it's transcended into meme status now or if this person is being serious. So I wanted to be like I wanted to just say LOL, but if they're being serious, then it's just then it's just bad. Then it's just mean. Force pitch force. Thank you so much, buddy. I doubt that. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't get it. I thought it was like, I doubt you're the real friend. I was like, but wait, but what? Let's get rid of old Sparky McTungerson. Huge. Huge fan. Uh, <laughs> God. Cosme, come on, buddy. Get it together. Man, this guy makes me miss Mike a lot. Because <laughs> his name is Mike. It's fantastic. Oh, we have a good time. One occasional, fr occasionally Frank bug. Kerwit, your consistency and speed with the uh, with the clever bucks. Not to be, uh, you'll never be outdone, buddy. Oh, that that's a good card. Red. I need I need to be shocking this guy real soon. Oh man, this is not looking It's not looking bueno here, guys. I'm not a fan. Thank you. 
Yeah. Red Mars Sierra, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. All right. I think, see, this is one of those situations where you're like, oh, I'd be doing great if I had... Yep, we're just going to go to the next game because we can't draw fourth land. And keep in mind, this doesn't have to do with not having 18 lands because... You should be able to draw a, 14 la a fourth land with se with 17 lands. That should be reasonable. Oh, boy. How you were texting on live stream while talking about it and how the rain is going to come down and wash all this. <laughs> oh, boy. One Kerwin is clever, Buck. Man, this is good stuff. And we drew two extra cards. Yeah, it's not, not reasonable. Not a reasonable amount of lands drawn. Oh, oh, this hand will get behind. He says. This hand is amazing, actually. In before we don't hit a fourth land ever, so. Little goblin gentleman. Just about, just around the river. Look at this. I'm going to give this guy haste, and then I'm going to attack with it. I could just attack with motivator, then I get two blockers. Nope. Don't essence scatter me, bro. Five damage is a lot on turn on turn three. Would you rather go on a date with Wario or Waluigi? Um. Good lord, that's actually a tough question. This veteran's gonna be mad AF. <laughs> yeah, he ain't having it. Get all of them points in there. They're at seven. So this this is a significantly different game. This game looks different than last. Well, that was that was good. That was good stuff. We had a good we had a good run. They had a good run? Everybody's having good runs. Good runs all around. The run goods. You gave him two targets for day. I feel like I gave him more than that. Oh, you mean for the turn two. Nice. Just around the river bend. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this hand. I don't wanna run, coach. It's just uh Are you doing your best your best gym locker meme? Oh, they went to five? I think our deck is good enough to uh to beat a mold to five, but this hand, it's gonna take some work. It's gonna take work. Oh. Sergi McMarrams? I'll play you. You're actually fantastic with this hand. I'm gonna give them a turn to uh, to do a thing here. And we're gonna hope it's not... Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. Now I'm probably gonna take a turn off because I don't want them to resolve a stag hoof spore. I just made that word up. That I don't care about. Two of them. Oh, that I care about. That is a concern. Yeah, we're just going to play Brute here. Next turn we can loot if we'd like. Most likely, perhaps. Maybe. Maybe. Just around the river bend. I'd like to thank Mike for getting this song. I'm gonna, I'm gonna block. Cause you, you have no incentive not to attack here. I either trade or I just, I block and then you gain two. Cause you're not gonna block this and you're probably not gonna block this. So your incentive for attacking is high. Your incentive for blocking is nil. Ooh, that's a dude. Oh, I see. I see.
I will definitely trade with this guy if you want to trade. Do we deal four? Yeah, we can we can play something for three, which is relevant. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can easily discard this. I'm actually going to try to hit a shock here. Uh, that'll do. That's like a next turn shock. Probably going to block here. I don't want them gaining life every single turn. Just around the internet. Uh, we have Volley Veteran. I guess we can... Also, uh, yeah, we're not blocking. Four, one, two, three, four, five. Ideally, we draw a Goblin Instigator, and then we can play Instigator and a Veteran. Sorry if I play my deck later, Bucks. Forest for Pitch Force, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, that was a good card. That's obnoxious. Wow, they went to five. I don't know how he. How did how did this game turn turn around like this? I don't understand. You're gonna deal two, so you can kill this. Is that a is that? It's a worse use of mana. If they attack with everything, they're gonna tap down the dragon. We can block here. I do like fiery finishing the stag, but I also like fiery finishing the blood lord too. If we kill this, you go tap this guy down. We block here. We take one, two, three, four. Mr. Ten Dollar Bill, thanks for the support, buddy. Really appreciate it. God, I don't love that. Keeping a bat back. That's interesting. Really? Oh my god. I did not expect that trade to happen. What's going on right now? Uh, I don't see how we're going to race when they have, they have bats to jump lock constantly and they also have Child of Night to keep making... Um... I have no idea how you think we're going to race there. They gain two a turn, so even if they take this, we're 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 dealing them two per turn at third twenty five. Like I don't see any world where we're racing there. I actually kind of want to take out a bat. I mean, we can block the child with either creature. I don't... Just because Child of Night's a better creature. Hmm. 
Even if they had more than one card, like, I'm still... I gotta get the card that makes more bats off the board. More 1-1 one -one flyers when we're at 11. Hold on one second. Got to just do a thing real quick. Okay. Um, yeah, this is why we're just holding on to this spark tongue. Like I said, I think our deck has the, the higher power level for this. All right, we'll see if this works. And if they have Inspired Charge, it's pretty bad for us. We get to trade with Child of Night, I guess. We got a four, though. But... Okay, well, that worked out for us pretty well. Just around the internet... Oh, sad days. Me horse. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I really want to kill the flyer because at least we can block here. Yeah, I guess this is fine. We also have dragon. I'd rather just kill the 3-3, get the most value out of it, and still have a profitable block. Both of your guys fly. Let's get in there. Was that like a small bug coming in my face? Another elk. That's good. This guy. I don't think we can actually attack here, unfortunately. They have to tap this guy down, which means to go block, block. Yeah, their block, their attacks aren't great here. But we're at eight, so I don't feel great about it. Oh, Sphinx would be a legit draw right now. No joke. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can actually, Divination is reasonable. Volcanic Dragon's good. Another Aven Wind Mage is fine. So Wind Mage, Divination, Volcanic Dragon. Another Veteran's good. Kills this guy. Um, can't think of anything else. I guess 5-5 five, five Ground Guy is fine. Probably not great. I mean, it's fine. We get to play both, so. Come on up for air, buddy. <laughs> oh, we have a good time.
I mean, I feel like Alfing is not great here. You'd have to tap down Dragon, and then we get to eat Bloodletter and Starcrown Stag. If you have removal, like, you just kill the Dragon. Oh, they disconnected. So they might actually just have lost their connection. Maybe they're that mad. They're like, I can't deal with this. This is unbelievable. This guy is only Frank Lepore some of the time, and I can't handle it. Just around the river bend. Just around. Did you know that Sunforge is going to shuffle your deck on MTG right now? That's so random, man. See, okay, so that's what I'm talking about when we talk about the, the MTGO and MTG Arena rules engine. Because that is an extremely obscure single card thing. Uh, that should happen, right? Like, that happens on a lot of cards. There's a lot of cards that interact that way, where you're like, hey, I search my deck for a card, I cast it, and then it shuffles my deck. And, um, you know, for one specific card to not do that correctly, it just shows, like, the layers upon layers that the rules engine has to have. Where like something that's so simple, like something that happens that you can that you can enter like, you know, a million percent of the time, a million a mil on a million different cards rather is, uh, you know, can just break down. Oh, they didn't they didn't do anything. Divination. Wind mage. Okay. So if you attack, you tap down this guy, and we have to block here. I still don't like our. We tap here, we go block, block. Yeah, I don't. I just don't feel like attacking it. I don't think we're in a position. They have six power on board. Their, their power is 75% uh, of our life total. Not comfortable with that. Just hope they don't draw sleep, I guess. Seven lands. Okay. That's fine. I accept that. I'd be Girl Mike. <laughs> Would that be Michelle? I feel like that could be a Michelle, right? Okay. I actually, two islands in a row is pretty good. I don't know why yet. But it could be good. If they tap this guy, we could block here, block here, block here. They lose everything, we get to keep dragon. Seems good. Distracted Mike. Alright, well, I feel like we're losing this game. This game is slipping away. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, we need to, we need a card now. We need a non-land card that has an effect on the board. <sighs> that wasn't it. Tap here, attack with this flying. It's pretty bad. Actually, I guess we can double block here with flyers. Block there, we'll take four, we'll go to four, but we'll get rid of these two. Oh god, I don't like it.
just around the riverbed. <laughs> oh, LaFoaf, good times, buddy, good times. All right, well, I think our opponent might be disconnecting again. They have 10 minutes, we have 16, so. I'm gonna rub my eye for a little bit while we wait. Oh, Swamp, all right, that's unexciting. All right, we get one more turn. Again, give me that card that's not a land. Oh, that's a good one. Hello. So we're like in the same position we were before. They'll tap this guy down and we'll still have these two to block. Do we attack now? Like now I just want the value. They could go block with these three. I'll definitely trade with these two. Or we can actually just attack with this guy instead. Yeah, that's probably better. Oh, that was a good draw too. All right, so now we get now we just get everything. Just around the river bend. So if they activate, they have four flyers. We're going to have two blockers. Oh, yeah. And if they attack with like three flyers, then we just draw three cards. It's pretty insane. Yeah, Winter Distinct was probably one of the best draws we could have hit there. <laughs> uh the just the other we were i was we were on stream with mike the other day and mike was like just around the internet and i was like what's that from and he said it was from pocahontas just around the river bend and uh now it's been stuck in my head well we gain thank god it's not lose a life for each life gained because that would be good lord i'd cry there are twenty six thousand life I don't want that. I don't want the why you gotta. Is the donate and sub notification? It should be. Did I miss something? There has been notifs that popped up today. I ain't gotta be so rude. I got a mad head and wear. All right. Well, they are taking their time. I sing it constantly as my sister watches like a hundred times growing up. So of course I know. Those. Are, that's the only. I've never seen Pocahontas. It's like one of the few Disney movies I've never seen all the way through. I heard it also wasn't fantastic. You know, comparatively speaking. Man, not good. Man. <laughs> Why are you guys like this? Chat, you guys are monsters. <laughs> oh, God. Uh... Can you paint with all the colors of the Wind Reader Sphinx? Oh my god, Hossmania, why are you the way that you are, dude? Why are you the way that you are? That's unbelievable. Chemo 26, I'm gonna open this link. No. I think I'm an ignorant savage, and you've been so many places. No. No. I feel like we're okay. They have one card in hand. We get to draw at least one card this turn if we attack with one dude, and I think we're safe to do that. For those who were watching on YouTube after the fact, I do apologize for the delay here. Mike1102 is a nice dude. 
uh, just having some internet or strategy technicalities having having taking place. Having having, I just said having having, and I wasn't sure where I was going with that. So we're just uh, having having some internet issues here. Social Array, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Oh, wait, that was, uh, yeah, that was resub. <laughs> and Mike is greater than Mike 1102. Remaker, thank you so much. Four bucks and 50 cents to make you pay your August rent. Oh, wow. I didn't even know we hit it. Unfortunately, we only did 350. Haha, <laughs> wait, no. 3, 450 minus 109. Whatever. Either way, I'm going to. Thank you guys so much. You guys have been awesome, as always. Now I get to live in my house for another for another month. Always a pleasure when that happens. And I'm just going to update the thing while we're waiting so you guys can watch it happen in real time. It's going to be amazing. Are you guys ready? Oh, they disconnected again. Yeah, I think Mike is having some, some internet troubles here. I'm sure we'll see him just around the riverbed. Riverbend? Riverbend? Riverbed? All right. So... End that one. Uh, zero. What's the is so August got thirty or thirty one? Thirty, right? Oh, thirty one? Dang. Zero eight slash thirty one. Slash 2017, 18. Just around the riverbed. Let me know when our opponent gets back, because all I have no idea. Nailed it. All new. It's all new. <laughs> Doctor Funkberger, the degree with which you're trying to change this song, dude. Uh, welcome, guys, to another M19 draft from the local public library. I didn't hit my goal last month, so I'm living in a tent down by the creek. That was a that's a nice variation on uh, what's his name? Al is it Alex Foley? What's his name? Uh, Van down by the river. Matt Foley. Matt Foley. Well, lordy, freaking no! I know Chris Farley's name. I'm talking about the actual character Chris Farley is playing in the Saturday Night Live skit. Wow, you guys don't refer to... Uh, this is... You guys are the kind of people who, like, when, when there's a movie quote, you put the actual actor's name in as the quotation rather than the actual character quote. <laughs> so you're going to quote Batman Begins, you're going to be like, swear to me. And then at the end, it'll be like, Christian Bale. But no, Christian Bale didn't say that. Bruce Wayne said that. Batman said that. Axel Foley is from uh, Brian, Stacy, uh, from Beverly Hills Cop, correct? I don't think he's coming back, guys. I think this Wind Raider Sphinx scared him too much. He's like, I'm out. I can't. I can't deal with this. I'm Batman, <laughs> Christian Bale. <laughs> oh man, that's actually one of my pet peeves. When people quote something, they'll put a quote from a thing, and then they'll 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 attribute the actor who said it as the person who said it like but that did they didn't say that at the very least the writer of the script said that you know like the only thing the actor did was read the line it was written by someone else it was the character was someone else you just all you do is portray it Uh oh 208 i think uh, we're in a position now where like even if even if mike comes back i think we did it so <laughs> me, jonathan do we know that line was specifically written by jonathan nolan
I'm Spartacus Charlton Heston. <laughs> exactly. That's literally it. Oh, man. Oh, your dad knows Jonathan Nolan? That's gas, dude. That's that's pretty sick. <laughs> oh, is that where you got your name from, the Mighty Ducks? Quacker 2000, is, is your name a Mighty Duck reference? I said Mike why and then like they came back at the exact moment I'm like oh no you I didn't think you were ever gonna read this because I thought you were gone forever now it looks awkward that I say Mike why there's gonna be a magic is there a is there gonna be any hold on we can do it is there any uh magic magic the gathering on this magic stream <gasps> Jeff Goldblum Jurassic Park Jeff Goldblum didn't say that. He physically said it, but that's not his quote. <laughs> the rock really tied to room together. Jeff Bridges. That's not Jeff Bridges' quote. This is fantastic. All right. Well, Mike is gone. We won. We had a good run. What if it was me who was disconnected this whole time, even though we're literally chatting this entire time? Which is actually concerning me right now because it hasn't declared me the winner. Can you declare me the winner? <laughs> I just wanna I just wanna play my games, man. Our deck is great. Frank Ford Play by Frank. That's an accurate though, that's an accurate quote. I stand behind that quote. Oh, thank goodness we did it. Mike, why? Mike, why? That's all I have to say to you. Just around the Mike, why bed? It's my birthday. <laughs> that's, that's one of my favorite parts in Thor Ragnarok. Not even close. It's my birthday. I'm going to keep this hand. Because it seems good. Turn one this guy. Turn two this guy. Turn three bird, Birdman. Harvey Birdman. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the blah 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 blog. <laughs> oh, good times. Just around the river bend, I'm gonna ma <laughs> Oh, I accept. Medium fan. So good. Let's go, bird. What up, bird? Let me see you float for me. My name is Frank, a professional magic player, and I say, get off dial up, you sucker. Drew Carey off the hit TV show, Drew Carey. I remember when Drew Carey said that, actually. Oh, double shock? Do we just go shock, shock? And then attack for five? I don't actually think that's terrible. Or, what if we go shock, shock to your face? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, attack for eight. That seems worse. Or we can just attack for two. Yeah, we'll just attack for two. Would Mike play Mimi? Wow. Wow.
if you can't remember who they played, who the actors played, then you don't, then you shouldn't be quoting it. Right? Like, I think that's just what it comes down to. Yawker, what was your question? I didn't even see it, buddy. I'm sorry. There's a lot going on. Oh, yeah. That guy's dead. I, I kind of want to wait till my turn to kill him, but I don't think plus one is worth being able to not... Like, we have to do it on their turn, because if we do it on our... Like, we, we want to play this guy. Even though I want the, the pump ability. Land. Oh, God. Well, my hand is gas if we can hit land, land, land. But... Dang, man. What FNM should, deck should you play tonight? Play... That's a good question. That is a good question. I don't know. God, I wish I had an answer for you. Oh my god, we're just going to shock all these little little nerds. Alright, so now we're going to draw a land. We're going to play Gearsmith and attack for a million. Right? Yes. Gearsmith. Seven, yeah. And then they're dead in the air to any land. I did like the Esper Chromium list. The Esper Nexus list. Play that Esper Nexus list. So if we can't remember the name of the actor or character, but we can remember what, what they look like in the content. Well, how are you quoting them then? You're just saying a random quote then. Like, if you can't name the person you're quoting, then like... Is it really a quote? You could just be like, yeah, that guy... Like... like what's the, what the context we're talking about here even? Just around the keep it bend. H. John Benjamin didn't say that. Archer said that. I said Archer quote AAs. God, they missed a land drop again? Oh, brutal. We could just pump an attack, but I'd rather get Wind Mage on the board. Because we can also pump an attack next turn. If we hit a land, like we just get to keep on, keep on trucking. Keep on keeping on. Oh, come on, Harlow. Why? Archer is voiced by H. Don Benjamin, that is correct. Get rid of brood here. Hmm. Well, I guess we're just going to go snapper here. This has been a less than ideal match, unfortunately. <sighs> just around the river bend. I'm going to marry that girl just around the river bend.
think we're dead here. And by that, I think we're, I think they're dead here. Just around the marry that girl. I'm gonna marry that girl. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna go. Uh... All right. So these matches have been uh, something. I'll keep this hand. We can cast all these things. Let's play in such a way that lets us play Surge Mare on turn two if we draw it. When we draw it, I should say. Well played. I agree. Crushed it. I like every deck with Phyrexian Obliterator that I've ever played. Because they have Phyrexian Obliterator in them. Okay, well, drawing two lands in a row is really not where I saw myself here, but this is where the record skip. <laughs> I'm sure you're wondering how I got here. Here comes Vine Mare. Are you fucking... Is this real? Like, come on, dude. Really? Nine lands, two spells? Because we have five... Because you have five lands in your opening hand, you're going to draw infinite lands. Can you please give us Elk Tears to not build Death Shadow because it's a, it is a deck for... It's a deck for losers, Elk Tears. So the thing is, once you, once you build Death Shadow in Modern, you actually lose the ability to criticize Tron decks. Because... You're just another Modern Sheeple. That's all. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah, where were you last turn? You stupid idiot. Have you tried not drawing a bunch of lands? I, not professionally. Uh, you know, casually I have. But, you know. Sometimes it works out, sometimes not. Enjoy the stream. Keep it Thanks for saying so. Oh, wow. This is an interesting situation that they're putting me in here. One Titanic growth and we get wreckumed. He complimented you. That means you're about to get murdered. And when they attack with the 1-1 one, one into my 4-4, four, four, you could not be more accurate. No, no blocks there, buddy. Just around... Dang! Oh, another land. That's actually fantastic. I was like, boy, I hope we can hit another land here. Another land. All right. Yep, pretty sure we're dead here. The old 2-1 incoming. Could have played this guy. Could have waited to play a land, too. I didn't care about any of those things. Honestly, I don't think the extra land is going to really make a difference in the long run, so. Okay, so. Oh, is it strangling soot? Yeah, I'll just take three. It's probably a strangling soot, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, ten lands, because we actually hit a land off of Gin of Wishes. So, ten lands, three cards. That's hard to win. 
Hard to win from that. Oh, wow. You would have been great last turn when I had six mana. Phenomenal. 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 It's either play this guy or play this and activate. I don't hate activating here. But I'd also rather activate on their turn in case it's a dude. Yeah, I think the two things is probably better here. Hard to say. I mean, like, when the Rider Sphinx, if they have Strangling Soot, it just makes this an 0-4. So we still die to this. We can't actually block this guy. Whereas, like, if they if they have Strangling Soot, they're going to kill this guy anyway. So we're not, we, know, we know what to do before before that happens. I mean, I'm putting them on Soot because they attack with both of these guys and not this guy when they had three lands. Whereas, like, this guy's going to get in just the same as this guy if it's Titanic Growth. So, I just, I, I'm just going to have to assume you have a, a Soot in hand. Spores. Strangling Spores. Um, eh, might as well see what happens. Shock. Not the ideal choice, but... I mean, it's two for one. That was actually pretty good. I'm a fan. Can I get a wow meme guy smile pop? Yeah, definitely, bro. I got you. Wow. This is a pretty easy block. So, I don't know what to do from here, though. Like, I want to attack, but I wish we kept up the... I think your guys are all weak. I wish we kept up red in case we got a shock. But, I mean... Considering all their guys have one power except for Courser, and we can block Courser and play around Strangling Soot, I'm pretty okay with that. Can't wait for Declare Dominance. Yeah, well... They always have it, so... Monomena. Spores, <laughs> soot, spores, whatever. Oh, that's that's good. Oh, that's also good. All right. Well, you just got real aggressive real fast. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my God, you're almost dead. Jesus. They get trample too. Holy sh shoot! Holy biscuits! I don't even have fiery finish to kill that guy anymore. This is real. This is probably the worst thing they could have drawn. If we attack for eight, we die. You guys, you know what this card does, right? These guys both get trampled. These guys are both five fours, five power guys with trample. And we put them on Strangling Soot already. So if we play this for our turn and we attack with both, we probably die.
I mean, there's no reason they attack Skyscanner into our 4-4 if they don't have Strangling Soot. I don't... That... Like, it... I, I don't... <laughs> I don't... If you, if you don't think they have Soot in hand, I don't know what to tell you. Or Spores, whatever the card is. I guarantee you they have Strangling Spores. You don't run 3-3 three, three and 1-1 one, one into this. I also, like, what's our, what's our follow-up plan? I don't understand. Like, they have two 5-power Tramplers, and we're at 10. Like, it's just weird to be like, attack with all your guys. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We also have fourteen in hand, so I mean, like, we have. If they don't have spores, we can just win next turn anyway. This feels like a real turn them sideways moment. Intriguing. Oh, yeah. All right. So that's good. All right. Let's see what happens here. Oh, wow. That's a heck of a card. Block you. Block you. Yeah, we'll block like this. We'll take six. If you have spores, we go to one. Interesting. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Of course. Why wouldn't you have that? What's up, Spencer? Good seeing you, buddy. Yeah, I think our deck's fine. Here's a song to get stuck in your head. The Element Song. What is this? No. No. Waiting for FedEx? What did you order, Spencer? Did you order a new guitar? Good luck with that whole drawing or not. Enemies, have a good night, buddy. Physical copies? Spencer, where would people even play a physical copy of your new EP? I don't even understand. Also, should I also be waiting for FedEx to get my copy? Or uh, how does that work? I like that you corrected your own spelling of new. It was correct, buddy. Like, Disperse and Totally Lost could be good here, but... All right, let's try this again. I think our deck is good. I think it's very good. Uh, 
All right, we're on the right track here. We just need a four drop. Oh yeah, that guy's dead. Uh, how are you liking it? I don't dislike it. I think I, I haven't gotten bored of it yet, so that's a good sign. Oh, we did hit, well, that's a five drop. It is a better five drop though. Four drop into land land. That's what we're talking about here. All right, well. Yep, wish this was a lightning strike, but here we are. Yep, wish that was a land, but here we are. Another, another game maybe decided by who can draw lands better I guess we'll find out yep I likely two for on myself just to block this guy Good times, good times. Yep. Yep, cool. Yep, that'll do it, I'm sure. What could possibly go wrong with the 2-2 flyer? when our opponent has eight power on board well thank you guys for watching again another 2-1 with another deck that seems almost it seems like almost a perfect deck you guys nightmares thirst I imagine so I guess we get to prevent four but not I well I don't, that was surprising I don't know what's happening but okay well we figured it out we, we, we've died. Yeah, actually, we're just dead here, right? We have to block this. Yeah, all right, cool. Yep, all right. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate the support. Even if we can't win a round due to uh, mana screw in every single draft we do. Um, yeah, if you guys want to support the content, please feel free to check out my Patreon or my Twitch link, uh, Twitch profile. Both are in the description below. Smash those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you guys next time.